What is going on guys, Snake Sports here, and today I'm going to be talking about Michigan Wolverines versus the Michigan State Spartans. Now as you all know on the video it says number 7th ranked Michigan and number 12th ranked Michigan State. Those are wrong rankings. These are uh, from the team builder uh, username that I found that had the updated roster for this year's uh, 2016 uh, teams. Uh, you can go find it. I'll put the link in the description below on how to get this and stuff in general. But Michigan is ranked number two in the country after Penn State upset Ohio State last weekend. And as you all know, that I definitely will talk about what happened last year on the craziest play uh, from last year's college football that could, that ended the Michigan Wolverines college football hopes or playoffs hopes uh, but this year Michigan looks like they are the real deal even though they are in the Big Ten and they're going to play have to play really well against Michigan State and their biggest test will be Ohio State which they got destroyed last year uh, but as you all know that Michigan lost to Michigan State on a crazy wild ending that ended up Michigan State's way after a blocked punt when the punter uh, botched the punt and then tried to punt it and got blocked and then a Michigan State player recovered it and won the game for the Michigan, Wolver uh, Michigan State Spartans. Alright, so this year, uh, the starting quarterbacks and the leading rushers and the leading receivers, we have um, Wil Wilton Spites. He is accounted for 114 uh, attempts with 182 or 114 completed 182 uh, attempts, uh, 1,447 passing yards with 13 touchdowns and two interceptions. While we have Tyler O'Connor um, had 91 for 149 yards or 149 attempts, uh, 1,257 yards, 11 touchdowns and six interceptions. For the leading rushers, we have Chris Evans for Michigan has 49 carries. Uh, overall, with 416 rushing yards, three touchdowns, currently in this year's uh, in his career, uh, we have L.J. Scott for Michigan State has 93 carries, 464 yards, and three touchdowns for the leading rushers. For the leading receivers, we have uh, Amara Do Darbo, I believe I pronounced his last name, uh, has 30 receptions, 499 receiving yards, and five touchdowns. Where we have R.J. Shelton for Michigan State. 35 receptions, 541 uh, receiving yards with four touchdowns. That's pretty impressive, if you ask me. All right, so we are going to go to last year's uh, standings. At the time, Michigan State was 7-0 and and 3-0 in the conference, uh, and then Michigan was 5-2 and and 2-1 and in the conference. Um, they lost 27-23 on that crazy uh, ending win for Michigan State. As you all know, Connor Cook has graduated and gone to the NFL. He went 18 for 39 with 328 passing yards and one touchdown and one interception. While Michigan, Jake Rudock, I believe, is gone as well. Had 15 for 25, 168 yards, zero touchdowns, and zero interceptions. For Michigan State's uh, rushing, we have LJ Scott, who's returning, has eight carries, 16 yards, uh, two touchdowns. We have Michigan. I believe Davion Smith graduated, uh, had 19 carries, 46 yards, zero touchdowns, and then Simonia, or Homia, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, <laughs> my bad, had three carries, 30, 30 yards, and two touchdowns. Michigan State's receiving, we have Aaron Burbridge, had nine receptions, 132 yards, and zero touchdowns. And Matt, Matt Garrett Kings Jr. had three receptions. 57 yards and one touchdown, and RJ Shelton had four receptions, 58 yards and zero touchdowns. We have Jude Jehu Chesson for Michigan, four receptions, 58 yards, zero touchdowns. Amara Darbal, Durbo, I believe that's how the last name, three receptions, 52 yards and zero touchdowns. We have Jabril Peppers, who's a great player all around, has two receptions, 35 yards and zero touchdowns. He has done really well with Michigan. He's playing punt return wide receiver, middle linebacker, special teams, every single position in the game has done really great with Michigan. And I believe Michigan is going to hand it to Michigan State after last year's crazy upset loss that everybody thought Michigan was going to win, and then they blew it. So I believe they have that on their back, and they want to beat Michigan State really bad. 
All right, guys, that's this is Snake Sports here. Hope you enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I believe that Michigan has the chance to beat Michigan State this year uh, after a crazy loss, like I said earlier. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Comment below what you guys think about this game. Who should win and who do you want to win in this game? Do you think Michigan has it to take or, or to beat Michigan State, or does Michigan State have the uh, chance to upset uh, Michigan? All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Snake here. Have a great day and peace. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40, and they push him out around the 47-yard line.